You can see how fluffy he is. And you can see he has a little bit of vegetable matter. So, he has some matting. So I'm gonna start in the middle where I can see really good. And then once I can see good and I can get a good start and see a good line, that's when I'll get to some of his matting. And he's black. And gray. But he's actually, um, I've had blacks before. And, um, the, he's pretty light. Instead of being like a, a really nice dark black, he's He's pretty light, which isn't like a huge problem. It just. Okay, you want to be able to work in long lines. So now that I have this little patch opened up, what I'm, I want straight lines so that I can get my scissors all the way in and cut a long line. It just, it just works better that way. I put a towel on my lap so that the bunny has some good um, grip underneath them. And also so that if he pees on me, I'm not getting soaked. And this is why it's nice just to have one bunny, is because it is rather tedious. Okay, so he is finished. Sorry, he wants to be active. So he's all finished. I have him all cleaned out. This So, you can touch him, honey. I never knew the baby son's goat, goat um, had that kind of wool. You never knew that? Yeah. Because it's kind of black? Yeah. That's what Jumper looked like when she was a baby. Are they going to turn white? Yep, they're going to turn white. When you put your shears in, you need to make sure you can still see that that top blade and that there's no pink next to it because that pink is her skin. And you want it in a, in a line so you can see that line. Lengthwise, you want that blade to go in as long as it can, all the way to the hilt. Instead of taking short choppy snips into it, you want all the wool to run along the line of this blade in a long thin line. So she's doing pretty good.